Sell us at last! Sell us at last! Gee, say it again. You're finally awake! I... I feel like I've been sleeping forever. For one year, actually. I thought you were gone for good. A whole year? You've watched over me this whole time? Jeez, that's a long time. So it's been a year since that fateful day that Kefka rearranged the face of the earth? Yes, and I'm about out of energy. Okay, Sid and Strago have the same voice. I don't care. There are lots of people who come from Texas in the world, okay? <laughs> We're on a tiny deserted island. After the world crumbled, I woke to find us here together with a few strangers. The world. So it wasn't just a dream. No, it certainly wasn't. Even though we may wish it were. Where are my friends? Where's Locke? I don't know. I only know we're here. Maybe we're the only people left alive. Yeah, like I'm... I am legend. I am Sid. <laughs> Since that day, the world continued to slide into ruin. Animals and plants are dying. The few others who washed up here with us passed away of boredom and despair. Jeez. My friends... They're probably all gone. I tend to agree with you, Celis. I mean, it's very, very possible. Celis, you're the closest thing to family that I have. We could just live out our lives here peacefully. I suppose so, Sid. Or should I say, Granddad. May I call you that? Gramps, eh? I'm overwhelmed. All of a sudden, I have a granddaughter. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, Celis... It's very sad. I don't know if you think about it that Celis is like she's so needy. She's always she always needs to try and find someone that she can cling on to just for her for her own sake. <coughs> <coughs> hey, are you hungry? I I haven't eaten in three or so days ever since I became ill. What would you like? Some roast chicken, a beef, <laughs> some roast beef, some chicken, a pizza. Will Nisha ask for fish? I won't get anything. That's all there is here. I'll go catch some. Yeah, I mean, it's the least we can do after you nursed us back to health. I can't believe we're alive. I mean, who'd have thought it? Well, geez, he's there being sick and I'm here equipping myself with things. I mean, how thoughtless. How thoughtless of me. Where are my earrings? I'm always looking at Sarina ring cast safe blah blah blah. <laughs> I can't believe we're alive. Really and truly I can't. Well let's go have a look around here. Look at this place. There's the map, as you can see, completely different from the way it was. I mean Kefka really and truly rearranged the face of the earth. And we have this really jarring music. See what kind of enemies there are here. Peepers. Let's see how. Pearlwind. Need MP. Tail. Well, at least that one actually got to attack me. Yeah, all of the creatures here, and I think it's a really cool touch. All of the creatures here have very low HP, like maybe two or three. And they all have seizure stashes. I think there might be one in the desert there that's a bit more challenging, but we won't go there. They all have seizure stashes, which is basically um, sap. So they all die within the first turn. Well, I'm not going to be able to catch any of them. They're all going too fast. They're going even faster. Need to wait for a nice slow fish. There's one there. Maybe I could catch this. This is kind of like the frog, um, the frog catching game in um, in Final Fantasy IX. For those of you who've played it, no, I don't want that thing. I want this one, the slow one. I'm never going to be able to catch that fast one. Okay, let's see what that says. Item. No, I don't want a boomerang. Maybe it's in rare items. Fish. Okay, it's it's a, it's a fish. What what else can I say about it? It's a fish. It's a fish. It's a fish. It's a fish. I wish I wish I hadn't killed that fish. Let's go take it back to Sid. Jeez, he's up and about. Oh, well, no, he's... Grandad, here's a fish. Eat up. Oh, yum! Chomp, munch, chew! Ugh! <coughs> well, I can still talk. I... <sighs> want to talk to you. <coughs> what? <sighs> Jeez, he doesn't sound good at all. 
Sid, you can't die. Celis will be all alone. She, I don't think she'll be able to live if she's all alone here on this island. I mean, everyone else here committed suicide. I mean, that, like... Fish, get your ass over here. I need to save my... Well, here's a bird. Cheap, cheap is right. Fish, get over here. Like, I could definitely catch that one if he'd actually move. But he doesn't seem to want to. Come on, fishy. Maybe if I go off screen and come back again, he'll be in a more lively form. And that one's too fast, I won't be able to catch that. Man, I'm acting like such an idiot, like, guys, like... You guys who, like, know what I'm trying to do are gonna be like, That Harry, he's such a stupid ass, like, what am I doing? <laughs> I'm trying to make it like I'm doing this all by accident. Like, it's just so stupid. Come on, fishy. So, yeah, guys, what did you think of the last... I suppose I could use this downtime to talk to you guys. What did you think, guys think of the last part? Like, of everything... I don't know yet whether... I don't know yet whether I ended up splitting that last part into two or whether I ended... I probably did because I probably didn't want to do a half hour long part, so... Let's see how he is now. What? Grandad, you have to eat or else. What's the matter? No. Sid? No. No, he can't! He's all we have left in this world. No! No! You promised you'd stay here with me! Oh my god, I can't believe I'm almost crying. Oh, jeez. Oh, it's so stupid. I literally... Sorry, guys. Grandad, answer me! Tell me you're just joking! Oh my god, I'm crying! Stop it, Harry. Jesus Christ, stop. Tell us where are you going? No. No, you can't. Those others who were here, when they were feeling down, they'd take a leap of fate from the cliffs up north. Perk them right up. Jeez, Sid, I don't think this is the place for sarcasm, even if you are just a memory. No. No, don't do it! Everyone's gone. Even Locke, who pr promised to watch over me. The world's slowly ebbing away. Don't. Don't do it. You just... You've got to pull yourself together. You just... You've got stuck in a moment you can't get out of. Don't do it! <laughs> I don't know whether I should be saying this, but I do have the feeling that everyone should have the right to take their own... Like, people say suicide is a selfish decision on the part of... She's alive! Why did you nurse me back to health? Did I ever ask you to help me? I suppose she's talking to Sid there. Oh, that music. A bandana? No, it can't be. Hey you, where'd you get this? Is the person who healed you still alive? ANSWER ME! It's a bird, Celis, give it a break. But I do believe, like, people say suicide is a selfish decision on the part of the... on the part of the person who does it, but... I believe it's selfish to believe that, do you know? I don't know, I think people have the right to their own life, and I don't think people should try and hang on, like... I mean, people say that suicide is selfish for their own selfish reasons. Well, I'm not talking and getting into this right now. He's alive. Locke's still alive! 
Well, if that's not a reason to live for you, Celis, then I don't know what is. But how are we going to get off this dumb old island? Sid's still dead. You need to leave! The others are surely waiting for you! Find the stairs next to the stove! Down them lies your road to freedom! Love, Grandad! Jeez, what does he mean by that? Road to freedom? A secret passage? A raft? Rafty! Yeah, Rafty is what I named my boat in Kingdom Hearts, okay guys? Don't judge me! I named it Rafty! Say goodbye to the only family you ever had. I'll make you proud of me, Grandad. Even though I killed you <laughs> by accident. Yeah, you can save him and the same thing will happen. You won't get that Celis suicide scene, you just won't. If you save him, then he'll be all right and he'll be like, Celis, I'm feeling great, you can leave on this raft now. And that's what'll happen, but I just think that scene is just too amazing to ignore. I have to, like, I just have to, like, in, in some sort, I just... You know she's my favorite character, so any excuse to see a scene like that with her in it, and it's such an amazing scene, I just had to, had to do it, guys, so... But yeah, anyway, it's more fascinating than... It's more interesting than, um... Than... Oh, I'm alright now, here's a boat! Hopefully we can survive this perilous trip across the waves. Well, welcome to the second half of the game, guys. And, well, geez, our first run in with an enemy. Okay, I can't remember how to fight these guys. Usually I just go with Ice 2. It, like, I know Ice 2 if it, like... I, I find that Ice 2, Ice is the element that is the least absorbed of any enemies, so, like, I usually go with that. I kind of wanted to talk to you guys, but... Basically, this is the second half of the game. I, even though it 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 seems to it always seems to race by for me. So wait a second, actually, it always seems to race by for me. It seems to go faster in the first half. So I wouldn't say it, but it is like in atmosphere and in what you do. It is the second half of the game, and it is quite different. And I just love the way that they set up at the start of the game that Terra is the main character supposedly, but really Celis does come into her own in this second half of the game. And she practically is the main character for the second half of the game, so... I guess that's enough for this part of Let's Play Final Fantasy VI, guys. I'll see you next time. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope to you enjoy what's to come, because this game doesn't skip a beat from now on. There are no lulls, no boring parts. Everything is drama, and it does step up in difficulty quite a bit, so... I'll see you next time in Let's Play Final Fantasy VI.